What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you the Death Tyrant. Recently picked up the Death Tyrant in my local gaming store. A new uh, launch or a new release from the most recent wave of Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. I think it's wave 15 at this point, if not 16. Uh, anyway, the Death Tyrant has been um, a very anticipated model for me. It is a uh, a type of beholder, and unlike the beholder that we know and love, kind of the conventional beholder, this one, as far as the model is concerned, this one's, uh, it looks like the rays are um, already positioned on its head. Um, so it's got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten clear stalks. Um, that we're going to be working with. I'm going to be dealing with inks on the stocks here um, and whatnot. The eye, the central eye, is also um, clear. However, I did go over it with primer because I felt as though painting it would give me a little bit more, um, a little bit more room to kind of get creative with it. Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing with the center eye. I welcome those of you who are new to the channel. Thank you again. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I'm putting out there. In my quest to paint the manual, and now subscribing is easier than ever, just click that beholder in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. That'll be a little shortcut for your subscription. But without further ado, let's jump in on the Death Tyrant. All right, so to start things off here on the Death Tyrant, I'm going to be going with a little bit of Morn Fang Brown, and this is going to be an all-over base coat on the skull portion, not the eye, just the skull portion. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, speed things up so that you can see the basing process um, in expedited time. All right, so there is the all-over base coat of Morn Fang Brown. Uh, even got up and under, and as I'm looking now, I see there's a couple of little spots that I missed, so I'll have to go back in and touch those up before the before the next step. But um, I did a pretty nice job. So I I always hesitate with doing skulls because. I don't like making skulls look like your, you know, quintessential Halloween decoration bone white skulls, you know, the Jack Skellington skull from Nightmare Before Christmas, that type of deal. Um, I like making skulls look aged, uh, weathered, and so giving it a brown base, um, you know, kind of goes a long way with um, doing that. There are going to be some white accents on here when, I'm, when all is said and done, but... I do like to get started with a, a base that's um, brown. Um, and now moving forward here, what I'm gonna do, after I touch up the areas that I missed, I'm gonna go over this with Khaki uh, from Vallejo Model Color. And I'm going to actually be doing an overbrush over the entire miniature. So it's not gonna be a dry brush. There is gonna be wet paint on the brush, but I'm just gonna be, instead of painting it, I'm, I'm gonna be going over it as I would a dry brush to really try and um, maintain this Mornfang brown base, but put a, a layer of a kind of a lighter brown, um, you know, kind of progressing towards the, um, the white spectrum. Thank you. 
So there we go um, with the khaki. As you can see here, um, did a really nice job of covering that skull. And now the skull looks, you know, like a little bit more aged, um, a little bit lighter. So I'm kind of finishing up some areas back here, but it's not as it's not as dark. Now it's looking a little bit more skull-ish. So Kaki did a nice job there. And now what I think I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be adding a little bit of bone white to the khaki to kind of maintain that old aged looking kind of bone um, coloration, but uh, also kind of helping it progress a little bit more towards, uh, towards a white uh, max highlight. Okay, so now taking some pure bone white, very, very diluted. Um, now with the pure bone white, I'm going to be very carefully going over the most raised areas of the face. This bone white is very diluted so that we're not applying globs of paint. We really want this to get a nice blend in with the undercoats. Now I'm applying a true dry brush to the back of the skull with the bone white. So there's that. Now I think I'm gonna be giving the majority of the, or the area I just painted a glaze. All right, so this is just something that I'm trying. I don't know if it's going to be successful, if I'm gonna like it, so. We're experiencing this real time together. Hopefully it is successful. Taking some brown ochre or some ochre brown from Vallejo Model Color, mix it with just a hint of bone white. And I'm going to be applying a glaze to the 
entirety of the of the model here. Okay, so now with some lawful white, which is a pure white, uh, I'm just gonna be applying very carefully some, some final max highlights on the Death Tyrant here. Okay, we're gonna jump into the eye here and um, going to be going over this with a base coat of Red Shadow, which is a Reaper Bones uh, from the Reaper Bones line. So while the paint is still Somewhat wet, I'm gonna be mixing in a little heavy red, thinning it out in the palette. I'm gonna start kind of blending this color in. Heavy red is from the Vallejo model color line. I'm sorry, the Vallejo game color line. Itself, some pure heavy red. I'm gonna start mixing in a little bloody red. Bloody red is kind of border borders on the on the edge of heavy red and orange.
I'm gonna add more orange fire to the mix here. Orange plays very well on red for um, highlighting purposes. And every time I do this, the area, the surface that I'm covering is getting smaller and smaller and smaller as I'm approaching the center of the eye. Gonna incorporate some pure orange fire here. Really focusing around the the center impression of the eye itself. And finally, for the pupil in the direct center, I'm gonna be, uh, I've mixed a little bit of white with the orange fire. So what I'm doing there is just kind of tracing around the outline of the impression in the center. Yeah, you know, and I think a white, pure white pupil would be, look really good on this model here. Keep reinforcing this second to last highlight. And one last little effect on the eye, pure white right in the middle. Let's see how this looks. Boop. Nothing without the sound effect. There we go. I think I'm ready to call the eye, um, the center eye done. And now we can shift gears and move on to the eye stalks. Okay, since the eye stalks are clear, um, clear pieces, I'm gonna be using a red ink to try and bring them up to speed. Only painting the tips as the stalks themselves are being utilized to create the illusion that these orbs are kind of orbiting around the skull. All right, so now that all of the stalks are done, I'm going in on the center of each stalk with a mix of red ink bloody red and just a hint of white and I'm starting to kind of put a little um, some points of light in certain areas of the of the little orb and in the very center of each one that I just did. Having added a little bit more white to that mixture. Make them look like they're 
heated up and ready to be kind of fired out there. And last order of business, because these are actually generating light, uh, I'm gonna be putting some source lighting on the death tyrant itself. So this is gonna be kind of shining light on certain parts of the skull. certain areas of the figure right there kind of like so all right so that'll wrap it up for the death tyrant i uh, thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed this video again if you're not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe now so that you can stay up to date on all the content that i am putting out there i am trying to paint the manual as those of you who've been with me know and um, each project brings me a little bit closer so thank you for joining me on my journey Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.